Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel and to part three of my aerodynamics inspired suspended roller coaster build. Today I'm going to be focusing on the brake run area, the queue line, and the station. So I'm going to be adding some scenery and some, um, I guess, some theming. I didn't really do much theming to be honest. I definitely went for more of like a generic type of Six Flags style theme because um, I don't have a name for this coaster yet or an idea. I just kind of have a big bad wolf in my head like, the whole time from um, Bush Gardens and really wanted to kind of emulate that in some sort of way. I'm going to change the colours ever so slightly of these roof tiles that I've just used. But uh, for now, they just got this, this purpley blue colour in them, but I will slightly change that. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a gothic-y style station building with a <laughs> and it has like a touch of kind of alpine in there as well so do with that as you will um i'm just kind of honestly there's no plan for this i was just building and the best thing to do when building building a station is to try and avoid it being a square or a rectangle so i'm kind of i've added this tower which would be a clock tower i've added like a a um is it called a gable when the roof comes out at the top? I've added one of those in there. Um, the exit path as well is going to come down through the uh, clock tower there. And that just adds just more dimension and, and stuff to the building to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. Um, one of the biggest mistakes when it comes to station building is keeping it a square or a box and having the roof just be a square as well. You want to bring those roof tiles if it is a square you want to make sure the roof sections actually come out past the exterior walls and it's actually slightly larger than the building it kind of gives it a nice more interesting dynamic to look at um when it comes to building stations i very often start with the roof i don't know why i used to do that but it's kind of the best place to start and then sometimes i'll work down from the roof i kind of done something similar here i've done like kind of the border walls for the station put all the roofing in and then i take it from there I'm going to use beams and things and going to kind of give it this alpine kind of um, European style building look. Um, I, I don't know what the name of the ride should be yet. I've got like something to do with moths in my head, kind of playing on the kind of bat idea. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas, do let me know and um, I'll see if I can kind of incorporate it into the ride. I want to try and make like a big uh, marquee sign or something and kind of have that uh, as the entrance to the ride i can maybe put one on the front of the station as well where the um peak of the roof is there um that would be quite cool as well but i'm just going to kind of do what i can here with the um ideas that i currently have while building this and just kind of take it from there also in true coaster b fashion i obviously didn't record everything because it cut out and i didn't realize um i did go ahead and add in the queue line for this so i've kind of taken it down the hill um, we're going to have a cattle pen kind of style queue line at the bottom here, which will have a nice kind of canopy um, over it, which I didn't film. That was one of the parts that got cut out. And then um, I will go in at the end though and show you kind of what I did uh, with the queue line and the station because I did some more details on the station, which also um, didn't get filmed, unfortunately. I'm actually using some vanilla pieces here. Uh, I try and use vanilla pieces when I can, um, if they are usable for what I'm trying to do and very often i do use quite a lot of mods as you know from my previous builds um i'm not shy to use them i do have actually maybe too many installed and i don't i tend to kind of use the same five or six different kind of mod sets um so i could actually maybe uninstall some but um yeah i like using the vanilla rocks i like using those those pieces from the um dlc there that they were quite cool i have used some textured walls here which is a mod i like those because they do add some more texture to the walls so hence the name um so that's cool yeah i just wanted to do some rocks as well though just because um kind of want to it looks a bit random with it just being this piece of queue line with this brick wall around it and i thought adding some rocks up the side it adds a little bit of um, landscaping and i can put more kind of plants and different shrubs and stuff around it as well kind of make it to make it look a little bit more uh, organic and i believe now I'm actually going to start doing the transfer no that's a lie the break run i've done the transfer track already um, I'm using a picture of Vortex from Canada's Wonderland for this one and just kind of trying to recreate kind of what I'm seeing in the picture. Um, the brake runs for these coasters are really large. Um, they're very wide, obviously, because the trains do come in swinging, which is really cool. It's something I like to see. And actually, in real life, um, the structure actually do kind of shake and sway 
when the trains come into the breakdown, which is quite cool to see. Um, so yeah, I'm using the poles from Resort Detect. They're fantastic for this because you, you can just use one pole um, and kind of plus or minus the size of it. They're resizable, which is perfect. And um, I don't have to use tiny little pieces and stack them. So that's quite nice. I can just use maybe two pieces maximum per support. I'm going to use these for the entire supporting, I think, of the entire of the whole coaster. Um, I think that will work out really well. These coasters generally have very thick supports and then an I beam kind of cross beam coming out to support the track. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to find a way to make it look a little bit more realis realistic, sorry, adding flanges and footers and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it should all come together nicely. So um, that's the structure for the brake run. And of course, um, it is right on top of that queue line area. So I decided to kind of do, before I do something elaborate on top of the queue line, I've decided to do the brake run structure first, just so that I can kind of see where it sits and then I can go in and do the structure underneath it. I don't want the brake run to kind of overshadow the queue line, kind of what I wanted to do with it. Um, so I will get onto that just after I finish doing like the catwalk details. Um, I wanted to add up some, add in some more like cross beams and things uh, on the supports, um, uh, the rails as well on the side and all that kind of stuff. So I will get to that uh, just very, very shortly. So I'm just going to add in now some flooring and some hand rails and coaster nets and that kind of stuff to the brake run. I'm going to extend those eye beams out a little bit further as well so they look a bit more natural. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying doing this little build. It's been like a, something, like a little project that I can kind of come back to here and now. Um, I'm not kind of spending every day on it. I'm just kind of doing it when I feel like it, which is quite nice. And then I can make a video about it as well when I do that. And I've been thinking about maybe what else I could build. I recently went to Ploxaland Japan and I rode the Ride to Happiness. So maybe I could do something similar to um, that coaster, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the best coasters in the world, I think. It definitely lived up to the hype. I'm so glad I got to ride it a few times on that day. And um, it was really fantastic. And I'm kind of inspired by that now to maybe try and do something similar with like a similar theming. I absolutely love the theme to it. The kind of steampunk s style it had. The trains looked amazing. The station was incredible. I loved that kind of, so it was really like, just really different and original and I really loved it. So it'd be nice to do something similar to that um, in the game with the spinning coaster because there is one in the game. So um, that'd be quite nice. So I'm gonna think about maybe doing something like that after this one maybe, if you guys would be interested. Um, can't promise anything of course, but yeah. I'm just adding in now some more um, beams and things just to kind of connect up the supports to make them look a bit more realistic and look like they actually function. Um, and yeah, so I'm just using these smaller eye beams because I made them smaller than um, the actual grid. I have to kind of overlap several pieces here to make it look like one long beam. I should do that on uh, both sides. And um, yeah, that's kind of, it's just quite simple actually to, to do, to be honest. It wasn't the hardest part of this build. Um, and actually I always really enjoy doing these type of details when it comes to brake runs and transfer tracks and stuff and so it was something I enjoyed doing so that was really cool and um, yeah this was quite simple just lots of different eye beams kind of slotted together in different sizes and yeah as you can see it really comes together to look like a real realistic looking type of brake run. As I mentioned before already as well some coaster nets gonna add those in as well underneath just you know catch any loose articles that kind of thing. Um, a nice little detail, really easy to put in, really make coasters come alive, I think, when you add coaster nets in. And then and the last little thing here is um, I'm going to put this little beam in, which is going to act as like this guide rail. As you know, I said before in the previous video that the trains have like a guide wheel on the bottom of them so that when they are not swinging, they kind of run along a, a, this guide rail and um, stops them from swinging. So that's kind of what that's for there to emulate that, put it on the curve, then onto the brake run. Um, yeah, looking coming together nicely now. I'm really looking forward to um, doing the cover on the actual um, queue line. Like I said, didn't film it, but I will show you at the end of this video how that came together. But yeah, this is getting quite exciting now. I'm going to kind of maybe add a flat ride in and kind of tie the whole area together as if it looks like a section of a park um, and focus on some of the custom supports maybe in the next video and um, get some of that stuff done and then I just need to add some landscaping in add a name to the ride like I've already said um, and do the second lift hill which is on the diagonal so that will be a nice little challenge and um, yeah then it will basically be kind of done I think uh, but yeah it's been a nice little project I've really enjoyed it like I said 
and I uh, hope you guys have too. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I really do appreciate it. Now I'm going to go in and add some footers onto those supports. These always make um, a coaster come together when you're building one. Just adding these simple little footers. Even if you don't have a mod, you could just use a square from the shapes, um, from the structures in the vanilla section, and um, just stick them on the bottom of the supports. It just makes it look so much better. So now that's done, I'm going to grab a support killer and just um, get rid of those unwanted auto-generated supports which come uh, in-game when you build a coaster. I'm going to do all my own supports, so I will get rid of all of them eventually. But like I said before, I like to do section at a time. And now we're just skipping through to what I've done. Um, here's a little view at the um, canopy that I did on that cattle pen queue line there. Added some flags and some torches and some kind of wooden frame details there and use the same roof as the station so it ties in nicely together. And then we've got the steps coming up there to the actual station here, which I added some more detail on as well. We've got some lanterns, flags, put a cloth on there. Um, and then I just kind of ever so slightly changed the colors of it and added some more kind of wooden beams and diagonal beams and stuff. And the back here as well is also looking quite cool um, how I've done that. So yeah, it's all coming together nicely. Sorry, sorry that I couldn't um, show you the whole kind of process of me building that on camera. Like I said, it did cut out. I didn't realize, so that's my bad. Um, but I look forward to kind of building some more and sharing with you what I've done. But yeah, that's the build so far. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want some more content. Uh, I will try and upload when I feel like it. I'm not going to time pressure myself to do them once a week, but maybe I do once a week, maybe I don't. But it's really cool if you guys stick around and watch these videos anyway, because um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for another video. Bye. Thank you.